Hello, it's good to share in collective worship with you again. Let's welcome each other to this special time of reflection with peace. Peace be with you. And while you get yourself comfortable, I'm going to light a candle to remind us that this is a time for thinking and quiet. So if you're sitting comfortably, today I'm going to talk to you about charities. Now I wonder if you know what a charity is. And I wonder if you can work out what all these different charities are and what they do. Some of them you might recognise. Why don't you pause the video for a moment and see if your class can work them all out. You manage it. So a charity is an organisation that helps other people by raising money. So sometimes they raise money for medical causes to help people who are ill or to help provide better care for people. Sometimes a charity will raise money to help animals or to help the environment. Other charities might help campaign for justice or work with children. I wonder if you, could, you spotted what all these charities do. But today I'm going to talk about one specific charity, a charity called Christian Aid that does a lot to help and serve other people. And the reason I'm going to talk about Christian Aid is this week is called Christian Aid Week. So you might have noticed adverts on the television or a little envelope being put through your door to ask for donations. You don't have to donate, but if you can, and if you can give even just a little bit, it will help Christian Aid help other people. But I wonder... How much do you know about Christian Aid? So I've got a quick quiz. So I'm going to read out a statement. It's going to be on the screen and I want you and your class to decide whether the statement is true or false. So here goes. First statement, Christian Aid started after the Second World War in 1945. So did your class vote true or false? Well, that one is true. Christian Aid has been around for quite a long time and is older than our parents and most of our, some of our grandparents even. So the next one. Christian Aid works in about 20 of the poorest countries all over the world. So have a, have a chat. Is that true or false? Well, that one is actually false because Christian Aid works in around 50 countries, not just 20, in 50 countries. And it concentrates its work in four different areas of the world. Right, are you ready for the next one? Christian Aid only helps when emergencies happen, like earthquakes and floods. What do you think? Is that one true or false? Well, that one is false because Christian Aid does help in emergencies, but it also works all year round to help poverty in all kinds of villages and towns, not just those that have had an emergency. The next question. Christian Aid's big aim is to end poverty altogether. What do you think? Is that true or false? Well, that one is true. Christian Aid wants to make sure that no one lives in poverty, that everyone has enough to eat and a good home to live in safely. And then next one. Christian Aid only helps Christians. What do you think? True or false? Well, that one is a false. Christian Aid works with people of all religious backgrounds and beliefs and people who have no religious background or belief either. They will help anyone in need in those countries that they work in. So Christian Aid has been around a long time since 1945. 
Christian Aid works in 50 of the poorest countries. Christian Aid helps in emergencies, but it also helps with fighting poverty all year round in all the places in the country that it works in. And Christian Aid's aim is to end poverty altogether. And to do this, Christian Aid works with people of Christian belief or any other religious belief or no belief at all. Christian Aid will work with anybody that needs their help. And I wonder if you could guess where Christian Aid works. Well, on our world map, Christian Aid works in Latin America, in Africa, in the Middle East, and in Asia. So those are the four areas, and in 50 countries in those different areas that Christian Aid works in. And I wonder if you know what Christian Aid does in those areas and countries to help people. Well, they help people when they don't have enough food because of famine and drought and the crops fail because everything's too dry. They help people who have lost their home and their possessions because of flooding and storms and natural disasters. And they help people who are refugees who have had to leave their own home and country because of natural disasters like flooding and famine and also because of human made disasters like wars. Christian Aid will help all people who have had to leave their own home and become a refugee. Christian Aid also campaign to ask the governments of rich countries, the haves in this picture, to help all the countries who don't have enough, the have-nots. So they ask governments in rich countries like our country to help the people in other countries around the world and to make things fair. And they also provide health care in countries where they don't have a national health service like we do. So it's difficult and expensive to get health care. And also they've helped people who have discriminated against because they've got ill health and people treat them unfairly because they're not well. This little boy is obviously seeing the doctor, but he's not sure, is he, about having his heart listened to with a stethoscope there. And they've helped people who have been affected by climate change and Christian Aid campaign to stop climate change happening. So this one organisation serves so many people in so many different ways. And it's a good reminder that we can help people in lots of different ways too. Maybe we could raise some money for charities by doing a sponsored event or by holding a bake sale or something. Or maybe we could donate money to charities. But that's just one way of helping, isn't it? Perhaps we could be inspired by the different things that Christian Aid does to serve others. Things like campaigning for people to be treated fairly or by looking after the environment right here in Richmond as well as thinking about how we act affects others all around the globe. So Christian Aid might be a charity that you would like to support, or maybe you've got a different favourite charity that you think is really important and you support them and help them out. But charities remind us that we can help just by doing a little bit and working with other people, we can make a big difference. I'm going to finish with a prayer. If you don't, not sure about prayer and don't like prayer, then that's okay. You can just use the words to reflect. But if you'd like to make it your prayer, you can say Amen. You could read the words on screen, or you could even pause the video and add in some words of prayer of your own. So let's have a moment of quiet together. 
thank you, God, for all the people who support all sorts of charities, for all the good work that charities do, and for all the caring and serving that happens around the world. Help us to look out for times to serve others and help us to find ways to be loving and caring. Amen. Thank you for listening. Peace be with you. Goodbye.